Indian yoga guru Baba Ramdev, instrumental in reviving daily yoga among millions across the country, recommends yoga and meditation to soothe physical and mental suffering brought by coronavirus worries and prolonged lockdowns. Demonstrating yoga postures and meditation at a pilgrimage site in northern India on Friday, he stressed the need for a healthy body and healthy mind to keep all diseases at bay. The ancient physical and spiritual discipline, said to be India's biggest cultural export, has seen its popularity rise as people world over turn to online yoga to overcome their cramped confines and the stress of life under lockdown as the coronavirus sweeps the globe. Regular yoga has been linked to better sleep, lower blood pressure and improved flexibility. So through meditation, we can control stress, we can avoid the depression or societal tendency. This is 100% true. Yoga for body, yoga for mind, yoga for soul, yoga for all, and free for all. Whole world is suffering from corona. Not only corona, from physical illness, mental illness, different type of stress, physical, mental, social, economic, political stress is increasing in all over the world. And uh, through yoga, we can protect our body, our mind, our thoughts, our emotions, our society, our nation. This time to help us make sense of this a little more, we have joining us from South Africa, a medical practitioner, Swamya Gautam, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you so much. Okay, um, do share, do you share the same sentiment that yoga and meditation can soothe physical and mental suffering, especially uh, during this period? Yes, definitely. Uh, I feel very blessed that I'm from India and uh, where the yoga derived from and India brought yoga into the world. Yoga is basically a word derived from Sanskrit, which means to unite or to join. Yoga have a lot of positive impact scientifically, uh, psychologically and medically. So definitely yoga can create a magical and powerful and positive impact on someone's life. How accepted is the practice now in South Africa? See, I see nowadays a lot of people are moving towards yoga, especially the during this time period pandemic where people are having a lot of depressions, a lot of uh, stresses. And not only in South Africa, yoga is booming all over the world. So a lot of people are getting practice. I see often in the gym, at home, there is a lot of yoga studios. So it's good to see that a lot of people are getting into the habit of doing yoga and making a part of their life. How easy is it to practice, really? If you take a look at some of the pictures, some would say it looks like you, you have to study a lot in order to uh, practice it. Or could you uh, speak on that? See, uh, to be honest, there is a different classes for yogas, a beginner steps. And uh, so, yes, initially, if you are not aware of it, if you don't know anything about yoga, then my suggestion is get a classes because it's not quite difficult. It's easy because you slowly, slowly start doing your yoga and developing into the body. And once body become more flexible, it become much more easier to perform uh, difficult tasks of yoga. So it's not really so much difficult. I feel it's easy. Anybody can start it. Okay. In, in what other ways is the practice of uh, yoga helpful okay. beyond this pandemic? See, yoga have a very different impact on skin, on mind, body, soul, medically. A lot of treatments can be cured from yoga like you're controlling your blood pressure, your joint problems, heart problems. So there is a different postures of yoga which help you a lot. Uh, nowadays, recent studies have also shown that yoga is creating an amazing impact, especially on your skin, to look more beautiful naturally. Also on the mind, because remember, yoga work on each and every cell of your body. It connects 
together to the mind, body, and soul. And we need a proper balance to live a healthy and a very successful life. Um, what would you recommend for someone who is just about to embrace the um, act, of, the practice of yoga? I would just recommend you have to start, if you are starting yoga in your life, you have to keep a lot of positive mind, positive attitude, and you should be eager to learn something. You have to create an interest inside you because the more meditation and spiritually you are connected to the universe, the more body feel light. I would like to say one thing that the main aim in life is to create peace within you. That's what we want. And I think yoga is the only way where you can feel a lot of peace inside you and which prepare your mind, body and soul to fight with any challenges and come out of it. All right, doctor, thank you very much uh, for that insight. We'll try out some yoga a little later. You take care now.